Made for kids, but not shying away from hard themes, Avatar The Last Airbender, the animated series, put out three 100% fresh seasons and is one of the most successful Nickelodeon and some would say animated shows of all time. Filled with creative world building and compelling characters, it tells the story of a young boy known as the Avatar, who has to master all four elements in order to save the world. It is so good, it spawned a spin-off animated series, The Legend of Korra, which was also quite successful, not to mention a plethora of other media that includes a live action movie in 2010 from M. Night Shyamalan, which is rotten on the tomato meter for a whole bunch of reasons, but we'll just leave it at that. It's worth noting that the creators of the animated series, Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konitzko, were initially brought on as executive producers and showrunners for the live action version, but they ultimately severed their involvement with Netflix over what boiled down to creative differences. So that opened the door for Albert Kim, who previously served as a showrunner on Fox's Sleepy Hollow. But his main qualification is probably the fact that he fell in love with the animated series while watching it with his daughter, which is just, I mean, come on, so sweet. And he said that that's the main reason that he took on the gig. This is the cutest thing ever. Much like DiMartino and Konitzko had initially intended, Kim told EW that he was also excited about, quote, setting new benchmarks for representation when it comes to featuring Asian and indigenous actors. And we love to see it. So let me tell you about the cast. It starts with Gordon Cormier as Aang. He's coming off a big role in the 2020 miniseries, The Stand. And just so you know, he was born after the original Airbender animated series ended. Some of the other major players include Kia Wintio as Katara, Ian Ousley as Sokka, Dallas Liu as Prince Zuko, Elizabeth Yu as Princess Azula, and Paul Sun Hyung Lee as General Iroh. The latter of which we all love is Captain Carson Tiva on multiple live action Star Wars series. But because everyone loves a good hidden connection, I gotta say that a few actors in this also have ties to the animated series as well, which is pretty cool. Like Daniel Day Kim. He plays Fire Lord Ozai in the new show after previously voicing General Fong in The Last Airbender and Hiroshi Sato in The Legend of Korra. Then there's social media star George Takei as Ko the Face Dealer, who previously voiced the Fire Nation prison rig warden in the animated series. What a cool connection. Along with getting the cast right and becoming the first show from Nickelodeon Productions to be rated TV-14, a few things had to change with the storyline, according to Kim. While we know that the basic story and characters are the same, Kim told EW that this show will not start the same way as the animated one did, which is what he called a conscious decision to separate the two series. But do not freak out just yet, diehard fans. Wait till I tell you this, and then you can freak out. So Kim also said that they had to unravel and remix storylines in a new way to better fit in a serialized live action format. So it's okay, just breathe, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> so we've accepted the fact that they're gonna change some things around for the Switch to live action, but what else have they done to bring this to life? Well, spent money for one, a bunch of it. The show's budget has been reported to be around $120 million, which breaks down to $50 million per episode, AKA that's like eight little movies. And if they're paying for dope visuals, they gotta back it up with some solid music, you feel me? Which is why they brought in award-winning Japanese-American composer Takashi Furukawa, who has worked on some big-time video games, along with shows like Clone Wars, Star Trek Enterprise, and Mythic Quest. So friends, that is everything you need to know before you watch Avatar The Last Airbender when it premieres on Netflix in February, and that's where you can find the animated shows too.